pretty over the moon with this uh, day. I've only just got into the South Island to have a day like this. You know, almost straight after getting here, it's just unreal. Like after the North Island, the weather's been so wet, all the rivers so blown out. That uh, yeah, obviously fantastic decision to come down here. Thank you, South Island, <laughs> delivering the goods. So I'm going to have another crack today on the same river system. Um, I'm going to go up the other branch today. You can see the swing ridge behind me. I'm just going to fish up from here. Uh, South Island always looks beautiful in photos, but often there's super, super high wind. And today is one of those days, it's probably 15, 20 knots, so downstream. So we'll see how we go, but that always adds to the fun. Uh, the good news today is Badger's here with me. So we've got Badger. Uh, he's not too good on the long walks, but he should be okay just for this short mission. So yeah, it should be good. Let's go. Come on, mate. Good dog. Just a little little guy in behind that rock there, but good to know there's fish. <laughs> So I'm going to head up into one of the local backcountry rivers today. Um, done a little bit of a four-wheel drive track in. Um, just parked the car here. Basically we're going to head across. There's a big river down here. I've got to do a crossing so hopefully I can make it across. And then heading up that valley there. Um, I fished it before and got completely owned by the fish. They're just ultra spooky. It's got a reputation for being that way. Um, but hey, I loved every minute of it. It was still awesome. So I'm going to give it another go today. I'll focus on the lower section and we'll see what happens. Um, tried to pack my A game today, so it was, it was uh, difficult. There was still a bit of space left in the bag. I don't think I've quite um, developed my A game. It's a bit of a lifelong mission to learn that one, but we'll give it a crack. So this is the main river behind me. It's changed a heck of a lot in the years since I've been here. Um, actually looks like it's probably only a knee deep crossing so that's a win. So just going to cross over here behind me and then away we go up the valley. After I crossed over and I was walking up and I looked back down and there was this beautiful run. It looked like a really nice stable piece of water so I decided to cross back and come and fish this. I was walking down, uh, it's about 25 meters back from the river, and I saw a, quite a nice fish holding in the back of the pool, and it spooked. So that was an interesting lesson. I was talking about A game earlier, but I thought 25 meters back from the bank was A game, but apparently not. So lesson learned, must go further back, and uh, I had a couple of casts here, but there was nothing there, just that one big fish. So yeah, that was awesome. Um, so yeah, I'll go back up, cross back over, back to the trip, back to the mission. Thank you. 
actually see a fish in that pool but it just looked too good and I didn't want to risk speaking anything so I just had a couple of casts there with a dry fly didn't catch anything as you saw but I mean how could you not fish that so I still haven't seen a fish in this river I'll keep walking up and see what happens finally sighted a fish so I had to quickly lie down so it wouldn't see me just right in the back of this pool here, it's quite a big pool so I'll just wait and then see if I can carefully stand up and hopefully I haven't spooked it and then I can actually go on to the next stage trying to catch it yes, finally see a fish so the spot where I saw the fish was sort of up here and I was lying on the gravel over there so I've got to just push up through this scrub and see if I can get up to the head of the pool and actually sight that fish I can't see the fish so it's not looking good at the moment maybe I did spook it this is down here where the fish was it's definitely moved well the trout's still hiding so there's probably not too much I can do. I'm just gonna have a little snack, relax, enjoy the enjoy the moment, enjoy the spot. If the trout comes back out, happy days. If not, um, probably gonna head back down the river and uh, head back to camp. We'll leave the rest of this river for another day and uh, we're gonna move across hopefully catching up with a mate, a fisho from Nelson later on, so that'll be sweet and uh, yeah what a stunning walk this has been, um, interesting only seeing that one fish but I guess the river um, keeps its reputation as being up there with uh, sort of exclusive very few fish, decent size definitely emphasizing the very few at the moment though but um, definitely loved it, incredible weather might even be a good option to do a bomb off the off the rock down there. Quite a quick walk back I found a nice track. Cars just parked up over on the other side of the main river but I'm just wondering seeing as that was such a fishless mission so far maybe I'll burn back down to where I saw that big guy this morning that I spooked. Have a quick look if that fish has come back. Looking for the fish that I saw earlier on, it was previously it was lying way back here. They came up and just on the edge of the rapids out there, on the edge of the fast water, there was a big shape. I thought it was a rock to be honest. I put a tiny black nymph with a flashback on and a, my favourite the um, hairs there with the black bead. And um, first cast that I got over the object, I hooked it, which was awesome and I, the fish instantly took off downstream. I wasn't rolling the camera because like I said I thought possibly it was a rock it wasn't worth it. Sorry about that and uh, yeah I had the fish on for sort of five or ten seconds and then ended up snapping off. Oh man so many lessons to learn today but a uh, little bit of excitement I'm sorry I didn't capture that. So I think we're done for the day now I'm going to head back to the truck but uh, <laughs> that was actually a bit of a bittersweet but quite a classic result I'm still fizzing after hooking that fish. Hey thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the adventure.